Hello everyone, it's Kyle Lodress and today we've got a team deathmatch uh, game type. No. Right, let's start again. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is team deathmatch. No, this is a tips and tricks video for harder. And we'll start with the Spetsnaz spot. Right, this, the class starting off with is the AS50. And obviously, you know, they obviously spawn on this side. Most of the time, it's spawning on it. And the reason why the AS50 is good is because it's got actually uh, a short range uh, scope. And it's perfect for a Mount more hard hat because it's actually got good line of sight for sli sli snipe bleh, sniping. For sniping. And so basically, obviously, you can go prone here or crouch and then just, you know, take a guy out down there, take a guy out down there. And I'll suggest that you put extended mags on, and the class is um, an AS50 with stability and extended mags. It's got a Scorpion with a, the Akimbo attachment, Claymore, Portable Radar, Slighter Hand, Quick Draw Maxman, and the, you're using the Support Proficiency count, uh, UAV and Counter UAV. And basically, if you um, watch here, you got a perfect space where you're pretty much your portable radar won't get destroyed and as you can see it takes all that segment on the map there or alternatively if you want to be covering this side um, try and get to go in there because obviously I'm actually going to try and search for it exactly you, you couldn't even see that because it's all tucked away and hidden and yeah, you want to be keeping your claymore here, right there. Because obviously, someone who's coming in doesn't know where you are or searching for you. As soon as they turn in like that, they're going to die unless they have Stalker Pro. So yeah, and also, a good spot here is just to lie down prone here. Take them out down there. Take them out down there. And so, we'll just go back into spectating the Spetsnaz and... This class, the striker with an extended mag, scavenger, hardline, steady aim and damage, with the concussion grenade, C4, slight hand, dead silence and quick draw is an amazing setup for this map, especially. Because I mean just you can just get all those shots in like that. And also you can just when you got quick draw you can flash out your C4s like really fast, like chuck it in there, take that guy who's camping, but you really want to be staying in here. And you want to be taking them down in the pipeline. You can easily just chuck a flash in there, rush in, spray your ass off, and you can claim yourself some kills. And if we go back on Spetsnaz again, we'll go for the Moab class that I pretty much got a well, like had the match end on me. But basically, it's a ACR 6.8 silencer and kick. It's got the MP9 Silence, Semtex, Flash Grenade, Scavenger, Assassin, Stalker, Hardline, Slight of Hand, and Specialist. And basically, I was. This is the best thing you can ever do if you're using an assault rifle on this map, is to just keep parading all the outside of the map, just like go from all the way like that, keep going around. But obviously, go if you slight spawn facing that way, go that way, take them out. Take two or three people out, run back the other way. Because by that time, they'll be coming back around with the spawn. Keep doing that and keep going back and forth and keep circuiting the whole map. Because this, this class is perfect. Because, like, you can just easy toss a flash down there if you get someone Semtex on. The ACR with kick is absolutely accurate as. It's perfect, really. So, yep, if we change team onto the Delta spawn, we've got a support class for the MK14. It is really versatile with the fact you can use hybrid sights on it like it's some kind of a sniper. You're using support with the UAV, Ballistic Vest, and Sam Turret. You're using a trophy system to cover your mates inside the actual um, area. You can go long range down here, get those bet harder shots on target. You can just easily sw switch out to close range stuff. And the perk setup is recon. What? That's the default class. Uh, <laughs> scavenger, hardline, and marksman. So you can keep it going. You got the stinger missile for taking down enemy air support. Because obviously down this bit you can't really cope with that. So you just flip that down. You can just like take them down. Pace your shot so it's slow. But 
Stick your trophy to the storm. Um, I was supposed to go on there, but I don't think it worked anymore. Yeah, but basically, you stick your trophy system down out of view, so when they throw a flash in, it just destroys it. Take uh, your frag out, kill them, you know, just easy as ready. And this is perfect for rushing. This is a P90 with extended mags and rapid fire. It has got the best capacity. you got, on this class, you've got... Um, the 5.7 Akimbo, because watch this, it's add to gun time, it's absolutely phenomenal. Exactly, just reloads in a split second, it's just amazing. I mean, literally. And then, you because you've got quick draw, you can just, well, you can just get the f flashes out, really. If you're on tight situations where you're, like, rushing around a corner with the extreme condition, you've got C4 flash grenades. The Akimbo 5.7s, and you just, you know, you're you're bombing it around the map. You're obviously going to rush down here. You, If you're com encountering a guy, you can have your own sights up. You've got that ammo capacity to onslaught everyone down that pipe. you got the ammo capacity to keep going on without reloading. That's why I got them for dead silence first. Because you don't want people hearing your footsteps clonking around when you rush in. You want to be able to rush, creep up on people, just take them down. You've got sort of hand, and then obviously you've got assassins for staying off the radar. You can just chuck a C4. And, you know, that's pretty much it, really. So, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, there's not really much I can say about this map other than try and stay around the outside of the map. Obviously, run around like that, or just hold hold down this bit here. And um, also, a good spot, really, is just tugging yourself into there and take them out down there and down there because you've got plenty of cover no one can really see you you can just come round to here take them out down there you can just lie down in here when they start coming into there you can just start shooting through so yeah thank you all for watching guys it's been x jester and this was another tips and tricks video so that was video number four with hard hat thank you all for watching i uh, really appreciate it uh, the views and all that, so drop a like, uh, comment, and please subscribe and tell your friends about my channel, thank you very much, and peace out, and watch out for my next video, I really appreciate it, so yeah, cheese.